Georgianne Lucier, a wonderful author of this book, 55 Plus Unite. I am very excited about sharing the reflections I've had since becoming unemployed in 2008 and realizing that I was in danger of becoming invisible. For women that are older, a lot of that includes myths about aging. I have a renewed sense of empowerment. Betty White, to me, just defies age. Betty Ford removed a lot of labels um, in the 60s. Who couldn't love Betty Boop? Absolutely not buy into the myths. Hello all you buzzers out there. We're at New Haven's most dynamic art space. They have educational programs which pair teens with professional artists and their mission here is to connect our artists, audiences, and resources. And we're here to cover a special occasion. It's called Our Daily Write where there's going to be a bunch of interesting artists that we're going to talk to. So come on down. Jackie's Buzz, what coming to you buzz? not so live from New Haven, Connecticut. Jackie's Buzz. My name is Megan Morgan. I'm a kind of conceptual based interdisciplinary artist. So my name is Rob Rock and I do photography and I basically have two different but similar pieces of representing here. Hi, I'm Hillary. I'm a Chinese sound artist and this is my first piece of art. I'm Beth Castle Love and this is my drawing a day project um, that I Hi, I'm here with Ken Lovell at ArtSpace, and he is a digital media artist, and we're going to have a little chat with him and see what he has to say. Hi, Ken. How are you? Hi, Jackie. How are you? <laughs> Good. Now, I hear you have a BFA, which, you know, at first I thought it was a BFF, and I was like, I've got one of those, too. <laughs> Do you get an award for one of those? You know, I wasn't sure. But a BFA um, in printmaking and an MFA from Yale in painting. Is that I correct? Do. I do. Indeed. That is very impressive. And you got a taste of computer programming, was fascinated with it, mm -hmm. and somehow got into the digital art world. Is that how? Tell me I the do. whole story, Ken. Oh, I need to hear story. about this. The whole this. story. We might be here sometime. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I, I started when I was an undergraduate at Indiana University and took some programming classes and didn't do very well. <laughs> you didn't? <laughs> no, oh, I didn't good. do very See, well. See, for all of us, that, <laughs> that's good to hear. Uh, later on, I, I got involved with computers again uh, by, by just by chance and uh, worked out a little bit differently this time because I decided I was going to try and do what I wanted to do with the computers instead of what I was being told to do in class. Doesn't it always work out that way <laughs> when you actually do what you, you're supposed to do? And there's something, there's some synergy that works with that, right? Right, absolutely. <laughs> so that happened, and then you st how, did, how did the rest happen? Well, I uh, got out of school, uh, uh, had studied painting here at Yale, and went to look for a job and couldn't find a job teaching painting. So I, Surprising. I <laughs> well, sometimes you get lucky. <laughs> but uh, I, I wound up working uh, selling computers and got very involved in, in uh, making art with the computer, trying to learn how to do that. Uh, this was back in the early 90s. And it, it grew from there to where the computer is now a really essential part of my art making practice. Wow, that's so interesting. And for those of us who don't know out there what digital art is or digital uh, media art is, can you explain a little bit about it? Well, there are many, pretty much everybody nowadays uses the computer in one capacity or another. Right. Uh, I use the computer for its ability to manipulate large amounts of data. Uh, so I will program uh, the computer to take uh, prescribed elements, uh, in this case, images that I found via a Google image search, oh. hundreds and hundreds of them, and arrange them in various patterns and to make various images. 
and then I will review all those images. The computer does that on its own and will generate hundreds and hundreds of images. And I'll review those images and find just a few that I think uh, I might like to work with. And then I'll take those and, and develop them in more traditional ways. So the, the computer is really just a tool for me to begin to make uh, images. Oh, that is fascinating. So it's a little bit different than what I was expecting you to say. So that's really cool. And this is some of your artwork behind us, is it that is, right? It is. We're going to take a closer look, but that is fascinating. And you're a professor at Yale, is that right? I am, yes. Oh, very nice. And you're um, showing your art tonight, so we'll, we'll definitely catch glimpses of it. Mm -hmm. So it was very nice talking to you, Ken. Thank you very, Pleasure very to much. Nice yep. to meet you. Thanks for tuning in to Jackie's Buzz at Art Space in New Haven. It's fabulous here. If you haven't been here yet, you need to check it out. You need to come on down for their many fabulous events because this is a fabulous place for artists and anybody that's actually interested in artwork. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Make it a buzzing good day.